Good morning, young scholars, Brown Brown family. Uh, my name is Jay Coleman, local artist, uh, actually in your neighborhood, and the artist that did the mural outside of your gym in the gym corridor. I just want to talk to you guys. Uh, first of all, to congratulate you on this honor roll. Um, congratulate you on your fortitude and diligence in terms of doing the off-site learning. That's big. We never had to deal with that. And you guys are really, really rising to meet the challenge. I just wanted to mention a couple things to you. Um, when I think about you and your school, I think about my own son um, and some of the things that I've told him over the years. He's now in college um, where you guys will be shortly, uh, hopefully. And if that's not your path, that's also not your path. But there are a couple things that I wanted to say to you that you can put in your tool belt and just take with you wherever you go. And um, very simple, not rocket science. First of all, um, you know a man because a man has tools. So as you matriculate through school, develop your skill sets, put together your tools. As an artist, um, I, I sculpt clay, I do a lot with my hands, but I also need tools in order to complete the job. Uh, the same thing with, with painting. I don't paint with my fingers, I paint with knives and brushes. So it's very, very important for you to have your uh, tool set. And handling your business is a tool set. So. The next thing that I would want to share with you all is handle your business. What does that mean? To do good business is no more than to have good values, just like family values. Do what you say you're going to do. Be where you say you're going to be. Um, and it's not rocket science. I think so many of our ancestors got by with just simple please and thank you and follow through. So I can't stress enough for you to exercise follow through in everything that you do in terms of um, your schoolwork, your relationships, um, your relationship with elders in your family, um, and also showing respect to your elders. I know we refer to you as young kings. Um, before you're a king, you have to be a prince. And before being and, and, and working your way up to those titles, um, there's often a rites of passage or something that has to be passed to earn that title. You're not just a king um, by your birthright. In many ways you are, but for you, um, I don't want you to over glorify that term. I want you to use your um, your development, your advancement, your matriculation through school to develop that and nurture that so that you are always trying to better yourself. You're always trying to um, achieve the goal of being a better king, uh, king of your household, king of your domain, if you own a business, if you're in school, king of the classroom by being at the top of your class, handle your business, follow through. Um, Next thing I would say is to unplug. Remember to unplug. That means cell phone, um, game console, telephone, texting, scrolling through IG and, and all other social media platforms. Learn to unplug so that you can hear your own voice, so that you are able to um, create your own voice. So many people tell you to follow your passion and many people, many of us don't know our passions because we've never listened to our own voices. We're, we're continually watching other people's development. Oh, did you see this on IG? Um, you know, watching what other people are doing and not creating anything for yourselves. So as, as young princely kings in the making, uh, I really encourage you, um, to consider that. Unplug. Unplug. <laughs> uh, also, the last thing I really want to put 
put out there to you guys is to uh, put in the time. Uh, a lot of times you'll hear people say, don't work hard, work smart. And I agree with that. But I think you should work hard and smart. What happens oftentimes is in, in this age that we live in, everything is instant. Food is instant. We have things delivered to our door the very next day uh, when we, we, we call for some things. So we have this, this nature of instant gratification that we have learned. And I want you all to learn how to Put the time into the things that you want to do. If you want to be um, a historian, if you want to be uh, an instructor, a teacher, a scientist, a physician, a lawyer, um, an electrician, a plumber, whatever it is that you aspire to, to be, put the time in and be the best at what you do. Um, a long time ago, uh, an uncle of mine told me that there's always room at the top. So as long as you're the best, there will always be a place for you. Um, it may not always be in the arena that you want it to be in, but if you are the best at your craft or you are the best at what you do, um, you will always be able to carve a place for yourself. So these are just a couple of things that I wanted to share with you. Uh, I'm really, really proud of the school and, and, and what you all are doing. The fact that you have all these young men in one place and nurturing them as young men. Um, is, is, is a very revolutionary act in these days and times. So I hope some of the things that I've shared with you this morning are helpful to you. And really press on, brothers. Keep carrying the torch. Keep kicking the world in the butt. And I'll see you soon.